Hello everyone. Hello everyone, my name is Shane. For those of you who don't know me, welcome to our yin practice. Um, yin essentially means restorative, so we're gonna be taking it nice and easy. Um, I recommend making this a candlelit practice, maybe plugging in some string lights, really setting the mood for yourself to fully relax. I'm going to start and end the practice with a poem and um, if you have blocks or books or blankets or pillows, I definitely encourage you to grab those for this. We're going to be doing a lot of supportive and restorative poses for the next 40 or so minutes, ending with a nice shavasana for three to five minutes. You're welcome to take it as long as you'd like. I'm just going to offer a short one um, due to the online essence of the practice. Always remember that this is just an offering, so please take it, make it your own. Make sure um, whatever you're doing feels right in your body. Don't do anything that's not feeling good. Really allow yourself to take up space, move around, especially if you're doing this from home. Don't be afraid to get weird with your movements, super fluid. Um, Stop and get water, take rest, come into child's pose at any time. Um, what was I gonna say? I don't remember, but if it comes back to me, then I will let you know. Other than that, we're going to get started today in a supported child's pose. So, um, it's really gonna bother me that I can't remember what I was gonna say. I feel like it was potentially important. Oh yeah, the theme of the practice. The theme of the practice is all about control. Since I'm making this video during a time of a lot of chaos and uncertainty and fear, we're gonna be focusing on letting go of all of those emotions along with tension in the body that we hold stress in our hips, our neck, our shoulders, and various places. So we're gonna be focusing on our breath, something we always have control over, something we can use to serve ourselves in so many ways. The breath is extremely powerful. So control um, and focusing on that throughout the next 40 minutes is going to be what I'm offering for you as an intention for your practice. Um, you're so welcome to bring a different meaning to this practice. Um, we're no meaning at all. And yeah, that is all I have to say. So without further ado, we're going to get started today in a supported child's pose. So you can grab a blanket, a pillow, something that's super comfy that you can set beneath your belly and your chest. Bringing your heels together behind you, letting your legs fall out wide if that's comfortable for you, or you can bring them close together. Begin to crawl your hands out, letting your chest fall or your belly, bringing, finding a position that's comfortable for you. Down onto um, your pillow or your blanket or your bolster and then crawling the hands out. Spreading them wide towards the top, um, top edges of your mat. Bringing the chest uh, down along with the head. Maybe the head rests on a block or pillow. Really allowing yourself to release, relaxing the shoulders here. Begin to find comfort, begin to find stillness, closing the eyes, relaxing your jaw and face. Thinking about releasing some tension in the lower back, relaxing the arms and the fingers, beginning to bring your awareness to your breath and your body without changing it, just noticing where you are today. What does your breath look like right now? How does your body feel right now from head to toe? Then beginning to exhale that breath all the way out through the mouth emptying the body, beginning to let go some of that stale energy, some of those emotions or feelings we're holding on to, inhaling through the nose as much as you can, filling up with love and positive energy and relaxation, exhaling out through the mouth. 
continue to do that for a little bit while I open with this poem. It's called Flower Your Mind. Flower your mind, bloom open to this moment. Allow the divine to blossom within you. You were meant to be beautiful. You were ma made to color the world, to refract rainbow light along the dew drops of your mind. Let your thoughts slide off the gentleness of your presence. Go beyond limited seed-like conceptions of your tiny self. There is no more need to be and play small. Flower your mind. The spirit of this land beckons your heart forward. Take one more breath, exhaling out through the mouth, envisioning something that you want to let go of right now. And then begin to inhale and exhale through the nose, not necessarily engaging in ujjayi breath, but really inhaling and exhaling as long as you can. And that's okay if your breath is audible as well, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. Just focusing on having an equal inhale and an equal exhale, sometimes it can help to count your breaths, your inhales and your exhales. Inhale, begin to crawl. You can, um, sorry, remove any support you had. So removing the blocks, removing the blanket, coming back down into your child's pose. From there, inhaling and crawling the hands towards the right side of your mat, maybe leaving the mat, maybe bringing that left hand to stack over the right, letting the head drop down to the floor, taking a side stretch. Really feeling yourself lengthen with every inhale and then stretching deeper into the side body with an exhale. Once you really find stillness, take five more breaths on this side. Taking a moment to appreciate your breath, how you can feel it move through your body and feel you get longer, stronger. And after you've taken those five breaths with no rush, letting them be as long as you need them to be, you can crawl your hands back through center and then crawl them towards the left, maybe bringing them to leave the mat, maybe bringing the right hand to stack over the left, stretching out the other side, maybe closing the eyes, letting the head fall down into the mat. And when you begin to find comfort, taking five breaths on this side. Again, feeling your side body get long as you inhale and then falling deeper into that stretch on an exhale. Focusing on whatever that theme or intention was that you had planned for yourself for this practice. Keeping that breath, not letting it leave you and just Gently coming back to it if it does. Coming back through center after those five breaths. Inhale, come up into tabletop. You're on your hands and knees. Shoulders are stacked over the wrist. <clears throat> hips over the knees. Um, hips are spread to hip distance. Or sorry, knees are spread to hip distance. Inhale, drop the belly to the floor. Lift the crown of the head. Cow pose. <clears throat> Exhale, round the spine, tuck the tailbone, drop the gaze to the floor. Cat pose. Inhaling and exhaling, using your breath that you created just for you. Beginning to flow through your cat cows. Taking any movements in the wrists or hips Maybe closing the eyes, really tapping into the body and the sensations you're feeling. What feels tight, what needs waking up. If the lower back needs to move, then go ahead and move it in more way than one. Allow yourself to be fluid.
taking two more breaths through your cat cow before coming back into your neutral tabletop. Keeping your hips stacked exactly where they are, begin to crawl the hands forward, puppy pose. Let the chest drop down to the floor, your chin or forehead can come to rest on the mat. You have the option to take your blanket and rest it under your belly, maybe even a block. Allowing this to be more of a restorative pose, bringing the floor to you. Surrendering yourself down to the mat. Maybe then placing a block under your head to fall into complete relaxation. <clears throat> Once you're here, taking five long breaths. Really make your breaths nice and slow. Allow your body to completely fill up before completely exhaling. You have the option to really think about letting go of something that's no longer serving you, something that may now be out of your control that wasn't in the past. We have to learn to let go of those things, to learn to live with them, and to grow from them, and to not let them consume us. After those five breaths in puppy, you can begin to crawl your way back up into your tabletop, removing any props that you have beneath you, preparing for thread the needle. Inhale, peel open towards the right, send the hand to the sky. Exhale, thread the right arm through your body, sending it towards the left, dropping the crown of the head down on the mat. From here, you can take your hand and go for a bind, sending your left hand towards the right hip crease. Maybe let your gaze follow that direction, maybe even over the left shoulder. <sighs> Taking five more breaths here. Allowing yourself the space to exhale through the mouth, letting out any energy that's no longer serving you. After those five breaths, beginning to come out the same way you came, Inhaling and threading the right arm back towards the sky. On an exhale, planting it down on the mat. Repeating the same thing on the left side. Inhale, peel open, left hand goes towards the sky. Exhale, you thread the arm through, letting the crown of the head drop down onto the mat. Being careful not to um, crane the neck, keeping it neutral, relaxing it. And then maybe finding that bind over the left hip crease with the right hand. Maybe bringing the gaze over the right shoulder. Breathing here. Drawing the belly button towards the back of your spine, allowing yourself to create space to twist if you took that bind. And then slowly coming back the way you came after that fifth breath. Unbinding, placing the right hand down on the mat if you Removed it, inhaling, unthreading the needle, sending the left hand to the sky, exhaling it down to the floor. From here, untuck the toes if they were previously tucked, and just begin to pat out the feet. Spreading out the toes wide. Release the tension there. We put so much pressure on our feet all of the time. And then come into stillness, begin to tuck the toes as much as you can. Sit back on the heels, lift the upper body. Begin to take some wrist rolls, taking the right hand, wrapping it around the left wrist and then rolling out your wrist clockwise and counterclockwise. While you do this, you can take some neck rolls as well. And then the other direction. Still breathing while you do this. Hang out in any spots on the neck that are feeling extra yummy. And then repeating on the other side. So wrapping the left hand around the right wrist, beginning to roll that wrist and then maybe the neck follows. Taking a few more breaths here. Mm. 
If this hurts your toes, you can always go ahead and release them after you've gotten a couple breaths, stretching them out. Inhale, begin to find a clasp in your hands in front of you and then flip the palms away, round the spine, draw the belly button in. Breathe in. As you exhale, arch the backs and the arms up over your head and then begin to flow through these, making sure when you arch and round that we're not letting the hips or the spine move, or move forward and back. You're just arching and rounding, keeping the hips where they are. Letting the gaze fall and rise with your arms. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Really try and stretch the arms far away and then bend towards the right. Take a side body stretch, gaze can fall towards the left. Take one more breath here, inhale through center, exhale the other side, send the gaze to the right. Feel yourself get nice and long. Use your breath, send it towards the areas feeling tense. Inhale through center, exhale, drop the hands down, come onto a seat, you can hook the ankles, rock back on the feet, kick the legs forward, staff pose. Ground down through your sit bones. Option to bring a blanket under the knees here. You always have that option. Uh, if you prefer not to take any bend in the knees, then you don't really need the blanket. If you prefer not to take a bend in the knees, then you might want to place a block behind your feet. Inhale, sweep the arms up, sit up tall, exhale, hinge forward at the hips, draw your chest towards your legs, send your hands towards your feet. You also have the option to place a blanket or block between your chest and thighs if there's space there. Also allowing yourself to bend the knees. Once you find a spot that feels comfy, somewhere where you can hold this pose for a few breaths, begin to uh, come back to that breath if you've lost it. <sighs> Take nice big breaths to breathe through that tension, to allow yourself to become um, longer, more flexible. And remember that's all in your control. You have the ability to use that breath to breathe through those tense spots, to release anything you're holding onto, any spaces where you're holding stress, release the tension in the lower back. Take two more breaths here. And then begin to slowly roll back up. Sit tall and spread your legs out as comfortably as they go. No need to overexpend yourself. Again, placing a block or a blanket beneath your chest, bringing the floor to you, begin to crawl the hands forward maybe letting the chest come to the floor or a block or pillow. Allow yourself to open up the hips and release anything you're holding there. Breathe through the sensations that are coming up without any judgment. Let yourself feel and then let it go with that exhale. Let it be strong because you know what you want and you know that you don't want anything that's not that. So we're letting go of that right now. If you want a little more, you can bring your hands to your toes or heels, maybe drawing the chest further down. Even if you have that blanket underneath, this still feels really good. Taking a couple more breaths. Before slowly rounding back up through the spine, Begin to sit back with the legs long, grounding down through the sit bones, sitting up tall through the spine, drawing the belly button in. Take your right foot and hook your right ankle over that left knee, right above the left knee and not on it. Sit up tall, option to support that right knee. You're thinking of opening up the hip. 
From here, you can inhale, sweeping the arms up. As you exhale, hinge forward, reach for your foot or a block or the floor. Massaging out any tension right there on the left quad with that um, right ankle. Maybe gently pressing that right hip open on the thigh. If you do that, you can even send the gaze towards the right. Take a little twist. Draw the chest further down. If you've got a bunch of blankets, you can even place a pillow or a blanket here. Draw the chest down, bring the floor to you. Take two more breaths. If you find that foot, really draw the toes towards your body, feel it in the calves. And then switching sides, taking that figure four position, maybe placing um, a block under the knee or between the chest or whatever props you're using, inhaling, sweeping the arms up, exhaling, hinging forward. Letting the head drop, the necks relax, the jaws relax, the shoulders are rolled down and away from the, shoulder, um, the ears. You're breathing. <sighs> Appreciating this beautiful moment, this time you're creating for yourself to really find relaxation. Remember to focus on that throughout the practice. This is about you and serving yourself Inhale and slowly begin to roll yourself back up. You can keep that left leg where it is. Begin to plant the left foot down on the mat so that the knee is pointed towards the ceiling. You have the option to keep the leg extended or to draw it in, drawing the right foot towards your bottom. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hook the left elbow over the right knee. Send the right hand behind you, twist. Inhale, sit up nice and tall, draw the belly button in. Exhale, twist a little deeper, send the gaze over the right shoulder. Again, you could do this with the leg extended as well. Woo. Taking two more breaths here. And then slowly beginning to switch sides, hooking the right foot over the left knee, keeping the leg extended or drawing it in. And then inhaling the arms up above your head, exhale, hook the right elbow over the left knee. Left hand goes behind the lower back, on the, down on the mat, sitting up tall, finding a twist. Maybe twisting with the leg extended. Begin to unwind, sending the legs back through center. From here, you can cross your ankles and either slide your feet through and behind, or you can send them to the side, making your way back into tabletop position. And then lifting the knees, sending the heels to the floor, allowing your hips to follow, coming into our first downward facing dog, beginning to pedal out those knees. Pressing away from the mat through your shoulders and fingertips, drawing the chest towards the thighs. Taking as deep of a bend as you need, not overexpending the body tonight. <sighs> Begin to find stillness in your downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward on the toes. Send the shoulders over the wrist, come into a plank. Inhale deep through the nose as you exhale, lower as slowly as you can to the floor, engage the core. Just gonna move my candles a little bit. Relax your cheek on the floor for a moment. I don't want my legs to knock these guys over. Preparing for some cobra work. Bring the hands in by your shoulders. Untuck the toes. Relax the legs. 
Engaging the glutes, inhale, roll up, take a baby back bend. Engaging the glutes to protect the lower back, exhale, roll back down. This time, send your hands on the outside edges of your mat, tent up on your fingers. Inhale, peel up, still keeping a bend in the arms, just spreading the chest wider, the shoulders are rolled down and back, exhale, roll to the floor. One more of those, option to extend the arms long this time, inhaling up, maybe extending the arms, dropping the head back, letting the mouth fall open. <sighs> Exhaling back down to the floor. Bring the hands back in. Preparing for some shoulder rolls, so you're gonna have a couple options here. Begin to draw the left foot in towards your lower back. And then from heel, from here, peel open towards the right side of your mat, bringing the left foot down to the floor or a block. You can keep your arms here, keeping that left arm bent and extending the right arm, peeling the shoulder open. Or if you want to go a little deeper, you can try and reach for clasping the arms behind you, rolling both shoulders open and down. And if you want to go even deeper, you can hook that foot between your clasp, stretching out the legs as well. A few options here, finding something that's comfortable for you. Just letting the shoulders and the hips peel open. Take two more breaths wherever you are. Then you can slowly begin to peel back and make your way onto the other side, drawing the left foot or the right foot in towards your lower back and then peeling it open towards the left side. Letting that shoulder open up. Taking a total of five breaths once you find stillness. And after that fifth breath, you can begin to roll back through center, bringing the hands back into your shoulders, untucking the toes. Maybe your shins and thighs come up off the ground as we inhale and lift into upward facing dog. Glutes are engaged, exhale, tuck the toes, send the hips back, downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg into the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, plant the foot down between your hands. Come into a low lunge, untuck the left toes, drop the left knee to the floor, find that stretch. Inhale, peel open to the right, send the right hand towards the sky. Option to stay here or to grab that left foot or ankle. Allow the hips to peel open. If your knee falls open, make sure the toes follow that direction. Keeping the breath you made, just coming back to it gently if it's lost. Releasing the foot if you have it, exhaling the right hand back down to the floor, inhaling, peeling the left arm open, bringing the hand to the back of your head, maybe pressing down, applying weight into the right palm opening the chest, peeling open the hips on the other side. Peeling open the shoulder, keeping it rolled down, bringing the hands back down to the floor, heel toe your foot towards the outside edge of your mat. So the right foot is going towards the right edge, preparing for your lizard pose. If you need to scooch the knee back, the left knee a couple inches, you can. From here, you can stay here, maybe letting again that hip fall open, or you can come down onto blankets, pillows, stack them high, bring the floor to you. Lizard pose. Breathing deep here. Maybe gently swaying side to side again, allowing that fluid motion. Not necessarily just taking the pose, but making it your pose owning the pose and making it work for your body. 
curl the hands back up if you came down onto the forearms. Tuck the left toes, lift the left knee, send the right foot back to meet the left, downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg into the air, exhale, find your little lunge. Inhale, peel the left hand open, send your gaze to the sky, maybe find the ankle of the right foot. Maybe that hip begins to peel open. Coming onto the short edge of your foot, letting the toes roll off the mat. Exhale, drop the left hand down to the floor. Inhale, peel open to the right, bring the hand behind the head. Draw the shoulders down, open up. Stretching out those hips, those hamstrings, the inner thighs. Still engaging the core, using your breath. And then drop the hand back down, heel to the left foot out towards the left edge of the mat. Coming into your lizard pose, option to stay here, maybe pressing gently into the left thigh, opening up the hip, maybe coming down onto your forearms. Taking a couple more breaths here. Again, allowing yourself to move freely. Slowly begin to come back up. From here, you can begin to find that low lunge again. Bringing the left foot slightly in between the hands. And then go ahead and tuck the right toes, lift the right knee, step the right foot up to meet the left, forward fold. From here, preparing for Malasana, you can option to use a block here. Begin to heel toe the feet out to the long edges of your mat and then sink down, maybe coming onto a block. Allow the hips to open up. Maybe you take the elbows and wedge them between the knees, gently pressing open. Shoulders are rolled back and down, the chest is lifted. Belly button is drawing in. You can do this without a block as well. You have the option to take a bind around each leg and um, your lower back. Maybe sending the gaze away from the bind, peeling the shoulders open. If you take that bind, take like three breaths and then switch sides. As you begin to come out of those binds, you can plant the hands down on the floor in front of you, lifting the hips. Heel toeing the feet to hip width distance. From here, take your peace sign fingers, hook them around your big toes, maybe taking a bend in the knees, folding forward, letting the elbows draw out to the sides. The head is dropping, maybe the mouth opens, maybe the eyes are closed. <sighs> Drawing the chest towards the thighs and then maybe beginning to straighten out those legs that they were originally bent. Preparing for our half sun A's, we're going to do two of them. Release that clasp you had, dropping the hands to the floor, and then on an inhale, begin to slowly round up, rise up through the spine, sweeping the arms up over your head, extend in mountain pose. Exhale, hinge forward. Folding forward, inhale, halfway lift. Hands come to shin or thighs, spine is long. Gaze is forward towards the top of your mat. Exhale, drop down, forward fold. Maybe you fall a little deeper in that fold. One more time, inhale, sweep the arms up, extended mountain pose. Maybe you take an arch, send the gaze to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, engage the core, feel long in the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, one more time. Exhale, plant the hands on the mat, step the feet back, send the hips back, downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg into the air. On an exhale, draw the right ankle towards the left wrist, sit down into your half pigeon. You really want to think about not only squaring the hips, but then mounting them down towards the floor. 
If you have a lot of space between your left hip and the floor, you can bring a block or a blanket underneath. And then the same goes for when you, um, if you choose to crawl the arms forward, you can come down to a pillow, blanket, or a block, or the mat. Maybe staying lifted as well. Letting those hips open up and then breathing, doing a lot of hip openers in this practice. Um, where uh, This is a place where we tend to hold stress. Not all of us do, but some of us do. Many of us hold some sort of sensation here, some intense sensation that might bring up emotions, feelings, discomfort, something you've never felt before. So tonight, today, we're learning to exhale any of that tension, any of those bad feelings replace them with good feelings, with positive emotions, with the fact that you're here tonight doing something for yourself and you're letting go of all the bad stuff, filling it with a fresh breath during a time that's meant just for you. Inhale, crawl yourself back up, maybe removing those props out of the way. Gently take that left leg out from behind you. You have two options. You can take the fire log pose by stacking the shins. Um, again, if there's space here, you can place something to um, lessen that space. Um, your other option is to take cow. So you can draw the left leg all the way over, bringing your knees to stack, trying to still square those hips down towards the floor. From here, you can simply stay. You can hinge forward at the hips, um, or if you want to take a arm stretch you can take that left arm and hook it under the right maybe finding a clasp on your hands for eagle arms from here you can do a couple things you can inhale and lift those shoulders and the gaze maybe hinging forward on an exhale you can play with bringing the arms down to your legs as well finding something that feels great in your body allowing yourself to take five deep breaths once you're there. Keeping that intention you set, focusing on the control you have over your breath. I remember um, when I did my yoga teacher training, when we were talking about our breath, we talked about how so long as you have your breath and you check in with that breath, you can inhale and exhale, the rest of you will be okay too. The breath helps the whole body run and function, and if you can control your breath, you can control the rest of your body and your nervous system and all that good stuff as well. Beginning to switch sides, we're simply going to plant the feet on the ground, lift the hips, and follow the direction they want to go, spinning around so that we come down to cow or fire log on the other side, or you can simply switch your legs. Coming into whatever arm variation you'd want, or none at all if that is what you chose. But then maybe hinging forward slightly at the hips, bringing the chest towards the legs, applying a little more pressure into that stretch. Breathing through it if you choose to do so. Taking those five long breaths. After you do, you can gently send that right leg up and back behind you to come into your half pigeon on the other side. Thinking about squaring the hips down and then maybe crawling yourself forward, coming onto the forearms, drawing the chest, maybe releasing the head to the floor. Breathing deep here. Preparing for another supported pose, I recommend a bolster pillow or a stacked up folded blanket. We're moving into our half frog. So you can gently begin to lift the hips, sending the left foot out towards the left side, drawing the knee up towards your hips as comfortably as you can. Placing that blanket beneath your belly and chest, opening up for half frog, really letting the hip heel open. Maybe bringing your head to the floor. <coughs> Excuse me. 
be breathing deep here. <coughs> Taking one more breath before switching legs. You can send the left leg back to meet the right and then draw that right knee up and open the hips. Melt the hip towards the floor. Breathing here. If you lit candles or incense, focusing on that sense, tapping into your senses, becoming completely alive in the body. From here, you can draw, begin to draw the left knee up to meet the right for your full frog. You might have to slide that blanket up a little bit, really bringing the blanket under your chest. And then let, maybe letting the head drop down as well. You're gonna take 10 breaths here. Really try and focus on letting yourself open up and sink a tiny, tiny bit deeper with every breath. It doesn't have to be big motions, but if you focus, you might really feel, your, feel yourself opening in only 10 breaths. Beginning to wind down from here. Really taking your time with those breaths. Maybe envisioning something you can let go of. Or just appreciating this moment. Maybe thinking of something that you don't want to let go of. Something that's been keeping you positive and sane right now. Something you're grateful for. <clears throat> After you take those 10 breaths, you can begin to sink back first into um, child's pose and then making your way into tabletop. Um, removing that blanket crisscrossing the ankles, sitting, sending your hips back towards them, and then finding your seated position. Always welcome to find that however you'd like. Bring the bottoms of your feet to meet in front of you. Let the knees fall open. Option to let the knees fall onto blocks here. You can gently apply pressure onto the thighs um, with your hands or forearms, opening the hips more. Lifting the spine, drawing up then maybe hinging forward. You can bring your chest down to pillows as well here. Surrendering to the ground with every exhale. Take five more breaths here. Think about keeping the spine long, not rounding. Bringing the floor to you if that feels better for you right now. Peeling up after that fifth breath, drawing the knees together and then setting your feet long. From here, slowly rolling down onto the back. You can stay here. You can let one leg drop down towards the floor at a time. Maybe closing the eyes. Preparing for a restorative bridge pose, place a block beneath your lower back, allowing yourself to come up into bridge. Arms can be down by your sides or up over your head. Experiment. If your arms come up over your head, make sure the shoulders are rolled down away from the ears. Let the um, block release the tension in the lower back. Still engaging the core with your breath. Take five long breaths here. From here, you have the option to extend the legs long as well. You 
maybe sliding the block up towards the top of your back, bringing it down onto the lowest level, taking supported fish pose. You can come into this or you can stay in that supported bridge. Maybe bringing your feet into um, that bound angle pose, letting the palms face the ceiling, really opening up, letting the shoulders roll down and away, rolling the shoulder blades in towards each other, opening up the heart. Taking 10 breaths here. As you take those breaths, allow your mind to be focused on the breath. If thoughts begin to wander into the mind, exhale them away as easily as they can, not giving them any special attention. After those 10 breaths, you're going to slowly release the block down from wherever it was. Option to bring a blanket or pillow beneath the back here. You're going to draw the feet back um, by the sides of your hips. And um, from here, and you can do this one leg or both legs at a time. So you can either extend one leg and just tuck one leg foot back um, or you can do both legs. One is more, a little more extreme than the other, so you can play around, see what feels better for you. From here, you're gently lying down. If you place that blanket behind you, make sure there's a pillow beneath your head too, evening out the space. And you can play around with maybe gently drawing the ankles slightly away from your body, creating a slightly deeper stretch there. When you find stillness, take five long, slow breaths. Option to exhale out through the mouth. Coming into our final poses before we rest completely. You, begin, you can begin to make your way all the way onto your back, slowly rolling up, maybe coming into child's pose first. Or if you're feeling good, you can just make your way down onto your back, sliding those feet out in front of you, and then rolling the spine down. Inhale, draw the knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice squeeze. Massage the thighs on the belly. From here, drop that left leg down onto the floor long. Hug the right leg in towards the chest. Begin to take ankle rolls clockwise and counterclockwise, wiggling out the toes, getting out all the pops and cracks. And then begin to draw that right knee in and over towards the left side edge of the mat, stacking the hips, coming into that supine twist. Arms can come out in a T or a cactus. Maybe the gaze falls in the opposite direction. You have the option to make this a supported pose by bringing a blanket, pillow, or some blocks underneath the knee, bringing the floor again to the knee, allowing yourself to fully surrender here really relaxing. Drawing the belly button in gently, creating more space to take that side body twist. Five more breaths on this side. After that fifth exhale, draw the right leg through center, come back up to the flat of your back, drop the right leg down, pull the left in, hug the knee, begin to take your ankle rolls. Clockwise and counterclockwise, 
wiggling out those toes. And then drawing the knee in and over, twisting to the right side, finding comfort, maybe sending the gaze away, maybe dropping the knee down onto blankets or blocks, surrendering to the floor beneath you. Remembering that you have the control to make this practice and this time as comfortable and as um, as as good as it can be for yourself. Only you know what feels best in your body. So challenge yourself to find that. After those five breaths, you can draw that leg back through center. Send it down long. Bring the arms up. Take a clasp in the hands, flip the palms away from your body. Take a total body stretch. Feel yourself getting nice and long with every inhale. Exhaling into relaxation. Roll the shoulders down and away from your ears. Release the tension you're holding in your legs and ankles and toes. Take a neutral spine. Inhale, send your arms away from you as far as you can and then draw them over to the right. Taking a side body stretch in the left side. Maybe your gaze falls to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale, draw the arms up and over towards the left. Maybe the gaze falls towards the right. Inhale through center. Take one more big breath in. Fill up as much as you can. Exhale out through the mouth. Beginning to prepare for your Shavasana. Finding a very comfortable position here tonight or this morning or this afternoon. What I'm going to do is set up blocks down my spine. So I'm going to place two here. And I'm going to lay back on those, starting at the small of my back, letting my shoulders fall open, my head fall back. I'm going to place this blanket underneath of my knees to provide some comfort there. You have a lot of options. You can take your bound angle pose, but the most important thing is that you begin to find something that feels good in your body. When you get there, take a moment, take your time. And when you get there, you're going to begin to close the eyes, doing that total body scan, making sure you are releasing anything you're holding on to. Letting that breath become nice and long, letting it be the sole thing you focus on, allowing yourself to just be, letting your thoughts come and go, thinking about the control that you have over your mind, body, and soul. Coming into your Shavasana, I'm going to read a poem before taking a few moments in silence. It's called Simply Resting. Allow yourself to be simply resting. Simply, naively, openly, completely resting making time for the dust to settle and the muddy waters to calm, simply waiting for a stream of deep knowing to flood your already vibrant understanding. Even the moon renews itself, even the ocean breathes. See this connection and let the morning curve of sunlight arcing across this blue planet guide you out beyond any sorrows in your heart into the sunrise of your life and your love, Shavasana.
please allow yourself to stay here as long as you like. Only here to offer that when you're finished, you take small movements in the toes and ankles, in the wrists, in the fingers, in the shoulders, relaxing the face, rolling out the jaw and the neck. And then when you're ready, you can make your way onto your favorite side, resting your head or your head in your arms, taking a few more breaths there, allowing yourself to hold on to that breath a little while longer before coming up into a seated position. Thank you all so much for practicing with me. I hope you can enjoy and feel nice and relaxed after this. Again, welcoming you to stay here in Shavasana as long as you'd like. You can shut me off anytime. Bringing your hands through heart center if you're here with me at the end in a seated position. The light and love and teacher in me respects and acknowledges the light and love and teacher in each and every one of you. Namaste.